quick little single splice. We have a 96F as our feed, and we have 10 two fiber drops coming in. So this is how it's gonna get broken down. There's our location. As you can see, the 96 is coming in, and then we have drop lines to all these lots. This is how it gets broken down. 96F feed, 433 to 444 is the count, and they're gonna do dead 13 to 96. So only one tube is live in this 96 fiber cable. And then we go ahead and we have 10 drops being entered. Each drop is going to a lot, two fibers per lot. Only one gets a, uh, spliced. So we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and match up our feed count with all of our distribution. So we're looking for something to start on 433. Well, spare is 433 to 434. So the first two fibers of the blue tube on the 96 is spare. And then our drops are gonna start on the third fiber within the blue tube, which would be green. So we're gonna start with splicing green to the first drop, brown, slate, white, red, black, yellow, violet, rose, aqua. And that would complete the rest of that ribbon running us all the way up to count 444, which is the end of our count of our feed coming in. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get set up for the splice here and show you how you can turn this into a perfect splice closure. Stay tuned. So all I've went and done there is I went through all the drops, how they're entered, and went through their counts, starting with count 436 and worked my way down and strung them out perfectly on the table, all in order from 436 all the way up to 444. Now I leave these on the table and now they're in perfect order, ready for me to splice. Now I can just go ahead and grab on my tube of the 96, get rid of the couple spare at the start, get them out of my way, I can go ahead and start splicing this. Stay tuned for the time lapse splicing.
today we're ready to splice. Another little trick is as soon as you get these in there and the machine's starting to think, go ahead and start prepping your next fiber. Get your next fiber ready. So by the time this fiber's done spicing, you're already set up. Save time every little chance you can get will really, really help with the speed of building, splicing, and full network submission. All right, that one's done. This one's done. Pop it out. next one. Another little trick you can do, have a little fun with it, see if you can beat your heater. Now obviously don't be moving so quick that you start breaking things and spicing things incorrectly, but it's always a fun little game trying to beat the heater. Okay. As your fiber wants to sit in the chuck properly. There we go. And that'd be a broken fiber. Bad clean. So clean up the pads. Get any debris off of there. Go ahead and strip it again. Give it another go. So you didn't beat the heater on that one, but that's all right.
sure to keep your v-grooves nice and clean and a little piece of dust inside your v-grooves will affect your splice you can either cause a loss Brake fibers, rebounds.
Feed the heater, just saying.
all 10 drops are spliced perfectly in order. Now it's just time to get everything secured to the tray and we can go ahead and rack it all away. All right, so we have our single splice chip here in which with these you have to alternate back and forth. This end will go in up top, the next one will go in down low, and it does it on the opposite side, back and forth. If you try to just jam the splices straight in there, you will not fit them all. It just will not fit. So, start with your first one, green. One side's up, one side's down. Back and forth, back and forth. Also never, ever push on the center of the shrink where it's spliced. Don't ever push there. You will break the splice and it will be a re-splice. Always on the outer edges. Never in the center. Go ahead and pop them all in there. Proper color code order. As you can see, they stagger, but yet now they all fit in there perfectly. So once they're in the chip, we can go ahead and get a self row. Get yourself some Velcro and straps. We're gonna cut. pieces here right. so I'm doing these in groups of four the same way they enter into the case in groups of four that's the same way they're going to enter the tray so I grab my first group of four make sure they're in a nice Nice looking order. Get them all equal to tray. Got a piece here. Velcro. Get lined up to exactly where your tie wraps are going to hold it into the tray. This gives it a little added protection. Also makes it look a bit better. Then you go ahead and repeat that process with the next group of four. And so on and so forth. Last two here to equal 10. Get them lined up exactly where I want them. So when tightening down your tie straps on the tray, you just want them snug enough that you can't pull them out. They're not so tight that it's going to cause a loss within this uh, grouping. And just remember nice and snug, as long as they can't pull out, it's perfect. Now you can go ahead 
it like this. I'll clean those up. Flush cuts with all your tie straps. Don't ever leave sharp edges. Like that, flop over each way. Slide that in. Now I'm always going to put my feed side in first. That's usually these lighter coated fibers and I'll use the drop line side to somewhat hold this side down and protect it. Get it in there like that. Blues next. Set that over top, forcing those fibers to the bottom of the tray. And so there you, you can give it a little turn, a little twist and turn will help equal out all the fibers in the tray, allowing it to look a lot better. Now next you're gonna take your actual spare on your feed side. That'll go over top. So, always put your spare fibers in after your splices. So when the next guy in the future comes in here and say he has to enter two more drops, instead of having your spare put in first and your splices on top, well now that guy's gonna have to come in here and rip this whole tray apart to get at those fibers he needs. This way, we put the spare on top. He doesn't have to touch any of the existing splices in here. You can just grab his spare count and get on with his work. Always think about the next guy. Do quality work. All right. And just like that, we've got all nine drops spliced. Everything's secured in a tray. This unit is ready to be tested and final hung. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and comment any questions you may have. See you in the next one.